welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs Loom Dog Review. These are all the puppies that I've made since um, August 2015. And I've been looming for about two years now. And I just want to share you, we're going to go through each and every breed. There's around 36 breeds that are on my channel right now. And in September, I'm going to resume and make some more breeds. So we'll go through the most popular ones, like the Maltese and the Bichon, and go through some little unknown ones like the Papillon. So some you don't know that they might not be as popular, but you might not even know that they're on the channel too. So I'm going to go through each one, and we'll talk a little bit about them. And it was an awesome experience making all of these little pups. And I really look forward to making some more. So let's get started and we'll start out with the Maltese. This is my most popular dog and she's the Maltese and I just love her layout and she's just so cute with the little pink bow and the cut bands and I can see why this is the most popular. She has over 250,000 views which is the most I've ever had on any of my tutorials. And, and she's just perfect in every single way. So this is the little Maltese. She's just too adorable. And the next one is the little Bichon Frise with the two cute little bows here and the wrapped bands around her face. And she's petite also. And just a really adorable little white doggy. Next we have the Poodle with more little pink bows, pink and purple, with the wrap bands to show the fluff on the um, back and on the little ankles and the tail. And she's just too adorable too. So this is the poodle. And you can change the colors on this one too. You can make an all white body and make, be, make pink fluff. That would look adorable. So we also have the Siberian Husky. And I actually gave away the black one that I have in the tutorial. This is the brown one. And he's one of the most popular dogs too. And he just came out really, really nice. And he really, really looks like a Siberian Husky. He's just too cute. So now we have the Beagle. And I just love his color variation of the black and the burgundy. And he's just a cute patootie too. He's one of the older dogs, and he's just so cute. Next we have the Corgi, and he's a short little stout dog, long body. The Queen of England has these dogs, and I just love how his ears look and just the, the shape of his body. Each one of my dogs have different bandings, and everything is unique. This is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and this one has the most beautiful ears. And she's one of my earlier dogs too, with the coloration on the back, and just that adorable little face. The next one is my English Bulldog, and this one I use stuffed bands inside of him too. And he's one of my favorites too, just how stout he is and just how his face looks really a lot like the English Bulldog. Okay, next we have the Rottweiler, and he has the best coloration with the car caramel bands and the black, and you can crop his tail too. You can make him docked. I left the tail long on this one, and I just love, and you can see the chest coloration on him too, and the little eyebrows. And he's one of the most popular dogs, too. He just came out really, really cute and really realistic. That's the Rottweiler. Next, we have the little pug with his curly little tail and the um, black muzzle. And he came out really cute, too. I just love the tail of the pug. And then we have the Boston Terrier with his cute little ears and his beautiful face came out really nice and I love the coloration of the black and the white on the back. That's the Boston Terrier. And we have the Chihuahua, which is one of the earlier breeds. 
And he's just so cute too. Tiny little tail and his ears. Really adorable. And we have a dachshund. And he has the long slender body with the short, short legs. And the little tail. Just too adorable. Then we get to a bigger breed, the Schnauzer. And this is one of my favorite because I think this one I used the cut bands for like the first time. Except for my Yorkie. My Yorkie has cut bands. But I put the cut bands moving forward and he has eyebrows with the cut bands and the different coloration. And this one is a, like, I really think he's a, a work of art. This one came out really, really nice. So that's the Schnauzer. Then we come to the Scottish Terrier, which is has the same um, bands coming around the face. And he doesn't have that many views either. I don't know why. He's just really, really cute, the little Scottish Terrier. So, and he has the um, hair also coming, the fur coming down in the middle section too, which is just so cute. So that's the Scottish Terrier. Next we have the Shih Tzu. And we have um, a 20-year-old Shih Tzu in our family. He's still thriving and really good and healthy. And she has a little puffy tail too. And she has the little cut bands around the face and the little bow, and she's just too adorable. So that's the Shih Tzu. And we have the Papillon, which is another um, breed that didn't get that many views, but I really think he came out really nice. And he has the um, cut bands for the tail and the cut bands coming down from the ears and from the chest too. So this is the Papillon. I just love the little marking on the back too. Just really, really cute. Okay, this one's the Westie, the West Highland White Terrier. The cute little bands coming straight down. Short little stout body. And he, I think he's cute too. It's a cute little white dog. This is the Westie. Then we have the Australian Shepherd. And I put so much consideration into this dog with the coloration and how they look. And there's so many different colorations with the Australian Shepherd. And I just really love how this coloration came out. So this is one of the Merle varieties. With a big fluffy tail too. So that's the Australian Shepherd. And he has a little white chest too. It's really cool, the color variations of this guy. And here is the Golden Retriever. And he's just cute all around with his caramel bands. And a cute little chest. And just a really cute little dog. The Golden. Then we have the Pomeranian with some nice little fringe bands coming around. His, um, face. I gave him a little puppy cut. And the furry little tail. And that's the little Pomeranian. And this is another little popular guy. This is the French Bulldog. And he comes in a couple different variety of colors. And he has a dock tail too. With a cute little chest coming out. And just his face is all around. Too adorable. With the ears sticking straight up. So this is the French Bulldog. This is our Basset Hound. Like the same coloration as the Beagle, but this is a shorter body and different um, head and longer ears. So this is the little Basset Hound. Really, really cute. I love the coloration. So Next we have the Labrador. And I made um, three different Labradors. This is the Black Lab. And I also have the Chocolate Lab and the um, Tan Lab. So this is the Black Lab with nice little brown eyes. And he's just so cute too. And then we have another not known breed, a little low on the views, the Rat Terrier. I don't know if he's that popular of a dog, but I just really enjoyed making this little guy. I think he's adorable. And I put a little coloration on his face and just how he looks. Cute little petite little dog. Okay, here's my Dalmatian with his nice little dots. And with this tutorial you can add as many dots as you want or as little. 
but I think he's super adorable too. Everything is just, I love all the dogs. They were all so much fun to make. So this is the Dalmatian. Then we have the Boxer. And this is the first dog that I made a, a different type of mouth for. And he also has a chest extension. So, and a short little dock tail. But this is the Boxer. I think he looks really, really cute with the ears coming up too. Nice little angle on the ears. And we have a little mixed breed pup. And I think this is the most simple dog that I have. And you can change up the colors and just make it, you know, little spots on the back. But this is the mixed breed and he's really, really tiny. So this is my Jack Russell. And I really love how he came out too. He has a little spot in the back. And she's, and she's really petite. So this is the Jack Russell. Then we go into the German Shepherd. He's a big boy and I actually put one of his collars on, studded collar. I have a tutorial for this one too. So I really like how he came out with the um, black muzzle and the brown around. So and the black back. It's really nice coloration for this dog. The German Shepherd. Then we have the Border Collie and another black and white dog. He came out nice too, and cute little ears and the brown eyes, So and the white on the top of the tail. He's got a fluffy tail too. So that's the Border Collie. And we have the Doberman Pinscher, and he's a big boy. And he has the, um, the caramel on the chest too. And also have a miniature Pinscher. So I really like how they came out too. So this is a different breed, but you can use this as like a Doberman puppy. So I really think that that would be so cute. So you can have like, do the miniature pincher tutorial for the Doberman puppy. And they can make really cute. So then we have the Pitbull. And he's a very big boy too. And I think you can stuff this guy too. And he has a broad, wide face. And there's different ears you can do for the pit bull too. This one's an undocked one. And I show you on the um, tutorial how to make the dock tail and like pointy ears too. So that's the pit bull. And then this is one of my favorites, the Chinese Crested. So this one's known for like the ugliest dog in the world. He has beautiful um, cut bands. I think he's not the ugliest. I think he's really cute. He's a hairless variety with, you know, just the fur on the top, the tail, and the bottom. And I just really like how he came out. That's the Chinese Crested. And this little girl is finally the Yorkie, the Yorkshire Terrier. This is my original Yorkie. It's the first dog tutorial that I ever made. And she's showing her old age, but she's still um, kicking. And she's the first dog that I sewed the belly shut, and I used that technique. And I need to spruce her up a little bit because she is a little bit old, and she's like the granny of all the doggies. But this is my original Yorkie and my first loom dog that I ever made. She still has a cute little bow, and she's in the tutorial too. So that's all the doggies. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, I'm going to be making some more dogs in September. Okay? Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Bye.